Okay, so we've made the site responsive for smaller screens, for tablets. And the last little bit we need to do is get it for smartphones. And this is as skinny as I can squeeze this browser and I don't have an emulator uh, installed right now. So what, what, what I'm gonna, I would usually set <clears throat> probably the, the app media query for 480 pixels. I'm gonna need to set it at about 500 pixels so we can see the change on my particular computer screen. So we're gonna to have to work around things a little bit. So again, I would usually set it at 480. Uh, I'm gonna set it at 500 because that'll be something I can see on my screen. So we're gonna make a final adjustment. We're going to adjust for smartphones. And again, it would be nice to have an emulator for uh, you, know, you know for the type of smartphone you wanted to display your page on. I, I don't have that right now. And I'm not going to do it tonight, so you're just gonna to have to live with this. So we're gonna go at media, and then we want to look at, uh, let's see, max width. And again, I'm gonna go 500 pixels instead of 480, just to make sure that it can, uh, I can actually uh, simulate uh, the effect using my web browser by squeezing it. There's just so much you can squeeze it before it stops squeezing. So like before what we want to do is look at the page and see what changes we want would like to make as things get small and so i'm going to argue that as things get small i'm still pretty happy with this i think the adjustments that we made to the padding and the font sizes uh, for the tablet are still working for the smartphone I feel like this still is pretty good. I, I mean, there's a little too much spacing there. We could we could tweak that. I don't know that it's a big deal. I think this is a problem. So probably for a smartphone, instead of going two to a row, I probably would just have a single, a single picture, single picture, single picture, single picture. So rows with just one link per picture. And I'll probably we probably should just get rid of this box and kind of clean this up and make the copyright smaller at the bottom of the page. So just some, some quick changes. Um, if we go right back up to our icons from the previous app media query, we can just copy and paste that code right into the uh, app media query here. And so now what we'll do, instead of letting each icon division be 50%, remember we started out each icon division was 25% of the page. We had four images or icons they span the breadth of the entire page. We cut back to 50%, so it took two per row. So to, to get one per row, we just say, hey, let each division take up 100% of the page. And that means I really don't need to float left. I really need to float none. And then what you wanna do is refresh that page and make sure those changes are taking, which they did. So as we squeeze in, there's our tablet adjustment, and there is our uh, smartphone adjustment. And then down here, it looks like this could probably be cleaned up a little bit. So that's our footer division, so div pound footer and to me it looks like this is just a little bit too large so what would happen if we went font size say 12 point maybe just to see what it looks like And I think that font size in this context looks better. So uh, if we look at this, you know, the question really is, do we want to change anything else? Again, kind of run through from top to bottom. There's the original. We squeeze in. It changes for small computer screens, and then it will change again for tablets at the top. 
and there the font sizes and padding changed and we can look at the changes on the bottom There's the tablet change. And continue to squeeze in. There's the change for smartphone. And and probably for this for our purposes for this assignment, that's that's probably good enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this last video a wrap and we'll get everything sent out to you.